गुड मॉर्निंग माई नेम इज़ उज्ज्वल जैन आई एम स्टूडेंट ऑफ पी जी डी एम बी एम सेक्शन बी माई टॉपिक इज रीगेनिंग इट्स लॉस ग्लोरी ऑफ स्टेट बैंक ऑफ इंडिया नाउ द फ्लो ऑफ प्रेजेंटेशन फर्स्ट इज इंट्रोडक्शन देन स्वॉट एनालिसिस देन इंडिविजुअल असेसमेंट एंड द लास्ट इज कंक्लूजन now introduction about the state bank of india and my topic so the state bank of india has roots tracing back to 1806 was an opinion and market leader in the rural heartlands it is the country's oldest bank with over 2 lakh employees and 16000 plus branches the branch in the bihar university in muzaffarpur felt its unquestioned supremacy threatened it was due to lack of customer orientation outdated technology and inefficient business process it is because of aging group and lacked customer focus op but caused a conclave where 14 points agenda got final with three broad groups first one is issues related to business second is how to facilitate these businesses third point is focus on people to create alignment and enthusiasm another point is a program named parivartan is launched where two days workshop is launched in more than 100 location a series of five posters were created and sent to 16000 offices a new vision statement was given my sbi my customer first my sbi first in customer satisfaction now comes the swot analysis now comes the strength the first point is a network of the bank the bank has around 198 offices in 37 countries 301 correspondents in 72 countries 2 lakh 78000 plus employees 420 plus million customers making it the owner of one of the largest banking networks in the world second one is goodwill the bank is one of the oldest in the region and has been having a steady inflow of customers from all income brackets another one is strong backing from the government sbi is one of the first initiatives in the government in the banking sector and since then has always been its top priority fourth one is special privileges being one of the most popular nationalized bank include a special act for itself fifth point is strong brand the bank has a very strong image amongst its customers visibility and there have been numerous instances of strong word of mouth advertising about the bank now the weaknesses the first point is limited market share growth with the privatization of banking there has been a surge in the competition which has resulted in a drop in its market share second is bad debts state bank of india has been facing a problem of being unable to resolve bad debts which have resulted from the non repayment of loans third is huge size after the merge of with five of its associate banks sbi has become the largest banker in india and the network in huge with branches even in remote locations this huge size can create serious challenges in management fourth one is loan issues there has been issues in loan repayment bad loan non performing assets and loan restructuring especially in the case of the associate banks the last one is customer services due to salary accounts and government accounts with sbi the branches are overpopulated creating too much dissatisfaction and frustration for users now comes the opportunities the first one is restructuring the banking industry in india was restructured by the government helping the sector to cope up with the challenges of the new financial environment second point is growing income brackets there is a steady growth of per capita income in india which in turn indicates a growing economy third point is increase in borrowing capacity the society has undergone a change in in the structure of double income households with high disposable income this has created a resultant change in borrowing capacity of the customer fourth one is increase due to technology the urban indian is very comfortable with all latest technologies such as mobile internet and computers 
फिफ्थ वन इज डिजिटाइजेशन बैंक हैव बिकम मोर रिलेवेंट विद डिजिटाइजेशन एंड डिमोनिटाइजेशन एंड दिस विल सी एन इंक्रीज इन द नंबर ऑफ बैंक अकाउंट्स एज वेल एज फॉर क्रेडिट कार्ड यूजेज so now threats in threats our first point is bad loans and nps india has a history of bad loans and it amounts to a total of rupees 10 lakh crore npa in india are in 2018 at 10.2% in 2017 it is 9.6% in 2016 it is 9.2% the other point is cyber threats these cyber threats form a headache for the banks which can affect the image of the bank if not managed well now the individual assessment what are the ways in which organization can engage the employees as advocates of change first one is employees engagement should increase in the organization another one is proper communication with the employees should have been done another one is better pay scale to employees should given fourth one is motivating employees to work another and last one is aligning all employees towards a common goal The next question is why and how should organizations adopt a customer responsive culture the first is in order to bring up the declining shares of sbi in market second is improve the working culture in sbi third is customer satisfaction is priority fourth is technological upgradation and the last one is sbi diary and sbi calendar were given to the customers The last question is what is the role of leadership in implementing a successful organizational change the first one is the commitment from leaders second point is communication for trust and motivation the third point is persuade engage and drive change fourth one is stay connected stay committed and the last is participation from all the employees should have been done in last the conclusion the first one is a customer responsive culture is essential to thrive in today's competitive landscape even in the rural markets second point is communication employee engagement and a strong leadership are three key pillars of driving a successful organizational change and the last one is the success of sbi's cultural transformation is not only an inspiration for aging businesses but a recipe to excel in the face of change and competition Thank you for your time